Knowledge is power. To be informed, one needs a learned practice of reading books, materials, and information that improves one's vocabulary, widens the memory and the creative mind of the individual. Cultivating this habit and making it a hobby is called reading culture. Reading can be done in the classroom, garden, on transit, and so on. However, to assimilate, reading is best done in a serene environment like the library. The library is a quiet and peaceful place to study. It has a wealth of resources made accessible to a defined community for reference and borrowing. Conventional library is very important now before this one will come to complement, to add value to information packages, information volume, content, and means of storing and retrieving it. Reading is part of my hobbies, but right now I have like an upcoming exam for which, which I'm studying for. So that's why I'm coming to the library because I'm trying to avoid distraction at home. So coming to the library to read, you read uh, uh, interesting uh, texts, you read, read interesting newspapers and all the rest, you know. It's quite very, very encouraging and it's, it's I must suggest that it's, it is the best approach to, to learning and reading, actually. In the past, the library was a place of study with readers, students and scholars carrying out research work, a serious component of the education curriculum. But in recent time, people rarely patronize the library. One of the arguments put is that uh, after reading, what do you get? Because with all your fantastic ideas, even it comes to a point where politicians, you know, they call the shots. They won't even want to get you close because if you know too much, <laughs> then... Uh, <laughs> You won't be the best. Poverty is also affecting reading competence, reading skill, reading readiness. The motivation to read, one of, one of these killing is poverty. People want the best, the quickest way to make money. Now, after all, to go to school or to read, it's just after reading, you get your certificate, and you come back again to begin to look for work. But these people are going for shortcuts. What is the state of the library and reading today? We have the e-resources, we have the physical resources. For the physical resources, we organize them according to the faculties, the department, programs, and we arrange them in floors. And for the electronic resources, we, uh, just to judge, we have the OPAC, that is Online Public Access Catalog, which are stations in strategic uh, locations within the library. Uh, like I said, University of, I think we are up there. Um, it's all, I'm not boasting. Uh, we, we are really trying. And we are grateful to Ted Fund, who is uh, making some of the things uh, possible, some of the facilities we have to showcase possible. And the university uh, management, they are really cooperating. I went to the one that they have in Alfam Street, the state library there, and couldn't find anything there. And that has really reduced the hidden rate of students. Our reading culture, generally in Portagot, is too low. You know that uh, when you get to some of the libraries, even uh, ordinary books, not even books for an academic work, you can't find in the library. You know, I'm not sure that I'm a scholar, so I research and so it's part of me. But that will not due to the fact that that culture can dissipate at any time going to the fact that the standard down here is poor, the management is very, very poor. As we underscore the importance of the library and reading, how then can we encourage reading culture? I said, if United Nations provided particular percentage in every country's annual budget for education, it should be so followed. If it is followed, it's likely that it will trickle down to enough books in the library, more people get interested in education. From whom the parents are supposed to encourage, this, uh, encourage the child, as a child, instead of buying all these uh, things, you buy maybe novels, they will grow up with it. My mom's going abroad. I think 
Sunday, the two friends set off into the sunshine. And then in the secondary school, the children have library, even at home. So the lecturers contribute to give the students assignment to the library because they have their smartphone. They will think they can easily do it. But there are some uh, core uh, materials that you need really need to do more research to get. Reading enhances both personal and national development. Therefore. Parents and caregivers must be models to the children. The media should introduce more reading programs. Government and those in authority should invest more in library, encourage readers and readers' clubs, so that popularizing reading culture will not be a promotion in vacuum.